a pool like that. So this is a corn street. Remember the colors. He's orange, he's red, and he's black. <laughs> Wait a minute, he's lying to me. That can't be a corn snake. It's not orange, black, and red. Well, this is a normal corn snake, just like the other one, except he has a color mutation. He lacks pigment, which is what gives him color. It's called an albino corn snake okay, because it has bright red eyes. But all the other color is, is missing. He does have a little bit of yellow on the side of his neck. But where he's supposed to be red, he's white, where he's supposed to be orange, he's kind of a beige, off-white color, but he's still just all white. Now, in the wild, he wouldn't survive at all because he doesn't blend in with anything. Yeah, he would stand out. And lots of things eat snakes in the wild. Raccoons, hawks, owls, fox, maybe a little bug or sister, I don't know. Okay? But he wouldn't blend in, and he might as well have a big sign that says dinner. But in captivity, he doesn't have to worry about those things, so he survives just fine. But it's normal in every way, except for the lack of color. There is a deadly snake that's highly venomous called a coral snake. Coral snakes are related to cobras, and they're red, black, and yellow. So if you ever see a snake that's red, black, and yellow, it's kind of important that you stay away from it. Uh -oh. Just kidding. This is a milk snake. Milk snakes resemble coral snakes, except the pattern is a little bit different. If you've ever heard the rhyme, red on black, venom black. Red on yellow, kill a fella. If you notice with this guy, red never touches yellow. It only touches black. So red on black, venom black. Now if it was red, yellow, black, I'd be in trouble because this would be a coral snake. There are milk snakes around here, but they don't look like this. This one is from Sinaloa. Uh, the milk snakes around here tend to be more brownish, tan, kind of a brick red. But when they're babies, they tend to be kind of a reddish and white. Now they're called milk snakes, not because they drink milk. But there are people that swear them now they are in barns because they're drinking milk. They are not in there to milk the cow. They're in there because that's where mice and rats are. Scientists did a, an experiment because this, prep, this um, myth was so prevalent among people that they're in there to, to milk their cows. They did an experiment where they injected milk down the into the stomach of the snake, and the snake regurgitated it back up and threw it back up. Because if you think about what cow's milk is supposed to do, you know, make this smaller mammal grow 200 pounds a year, there's a lot of fat in there, and the snake can't digest that. So they're not in there to milk the cow. Secondly, if they were to bite the udder of a cow, they would have to swallow the cow. It's not going to happen. Or the cow would stomp them to death, one or the other. But the snake, the name has stuck, milk snake. So there's a whole group of snakes called milk snakes. And they do get a certain amount of protection in the wild because of their colors. Because other animals see these bright colors, and they tend to shy away from them. Because the fox is not going to look at it and say, no, wait a minute, red on black, red on it. No, they just see the bright colors and they avoid them. Hence, these guys are able to survive in the wild. So this is a milk snake. Now, when you feel him, he'll feel a little bit different. His scales are a little smoother, a little smaller. 